Hi, Assalamu Alaikum. Today I'm going to show you an EGS effective way of summarizing research papers. Through my experience of supervising, dealing with research students, colleagues, I found that researchers have been struggling to summarize a research paper. A research paper could be 10 pages to 40 pages long, but we take only a few lines, a few sentences from a research paper. So how do you know which part of it would be essential, useful, relevant to my research? And I'm going to show you today with a short video, how can you effectively and productively, systematically summarize a research paper? I have developed a template, uh, which I'm going to share with you. This is a template that I've developed to make researchers' life easy to summarize a paper. You can summarize 40 pages long paper into one page. And that's the few blocks that I have uh, given you in the template. You can identify from your reading of a research paper what kind of research problem uh, they focused and you put it there in a sentence. From their paper, you can summarize the previous research paper's findings uh, based on uh, you know, the kind of variable they have used, and you can identify and then summarize into one box. From your reading of papers uh, or a paper, you can identify the kind of theories they use or the kind of hypothesis they constructed. You can take information of data sources or data collection method. You can take information about how did they analyze the data. And then you have to summarize what did they find out from their research. And finally, you have to take in the suggestion for future research that gives you some clues to identify research gap for your research. So that's a very easy a systematic template. A 40 pages long paper, 30 pages long paper can be summarized into one page. Let me show you some example. This is one paper, Effect of Innovation on Bank Performance of Electronic Banking Services. And I have summarized into the template that I've given you. At the end, I have, given, I have kept the reference of the paper. You don't need more than this information of the paper. As you go on, I show you another paper, Impact of Risks and Competition on Bank profit Profitability in China. And again, uh, this paper uh, was basically a uh, 25 pages long paper and is being summarized into one page. And it's, if I continue, there's another paper, also we have summarized into one page. So a research paper could be long. The reading could be boring, may not be very interesting, but you have to read papers and you have to learn to summarize a paper. You must learn which part of research paper you'd like to take into a research. So we summarize in a very simple template. And what I advocate, it once, once you have read 10 papers and summarize into one page of each paper, finally, you can summarize the 10 summary, 10 pages, summary from 10 papers into one page. So the page I'm showing you now, is a summary of 10 research papers. So imagine that you have written 10 papers and summarized into one page like this. You would be basically surprised to see how this 10 papers information is summarized in a very simple, easiest way into one page. And I do also suggest that once you read 10 papers, summarize into one A4 paper in one page, then you go for second round, read another 10 papers, then summarize into one A4 paper. Then you go for third round, read another 10 papers, summarize into one page. And you go for fourth round, read another 10 papers, summarize into one page. So now if you have read 40 recent papers, basically you have summarized into four pages. And then I will advise you, summarize those four papers into one page. So that's what we're going to have finally. Your 40 pages of 40 research papers going to be summarized 
into one page only. So you read 10 papers, summarize into one page. Or if you start with reading first paper, you summarize into one page. Once you finish reading 10 papers, you summarize into one page. Then once you reading, uh, finish reading for second 10 papers, summarize into one page. You finish reading third 10 papers, you summarize into one page. You finish four 10 papers, and then you summarize to one page. Then you have four papers, each paper con contains 10 paper summary. Then now I would like you to summarize the four papers into one page. So 40 research papers would be summarized into one page. That's going to help you some kind of establishing some kind of authority in the area. Make sure those papers are relevant, useful, and latest papers. If you do that, I'm very sure it will help you to identify and define your research problem. It will help you to identify the research gap. It will help you to develop your theoretical framework. And from there, you construct hypothesis. And that summary page will help you kind of research approach, the kind of data collection method, the kind of data analysis uh, techniques that you are going to use. I hope this slice is going to be very useful and make your life easy. Thank you very much.